In college, you learn how to code, you build your projects, and then you mention all your projects which you have built in your college journey, in your resume, and then after that, you apply for jobs at startups or MNCs. It seems normal, right? But what if I tell you that this is the wrong way? Then you might wonder, hey Ayush, what is the right way? Hey guys, in today's video, we are going to talk about what are the mistakes which most people do while applying to jobs off campus. We'll talk about their solutions of them. Along with solutions, we'll also talk about the key points that will increase your chance to get placed. Let's start with a story of an IIT guy who have applied to 450 plus companies or startups and only got replies from few startups and this was mentioned by LinkedIn on his post only. I also made the same mistakes in my initial days of my career in data science. I used to apply to several jobs and then just wait for the replies. Despite the eligibility criteria of a job description, which was master's in CS stream, days were passing and I got nothing in my hand. So I thought, why do companies or startups will consider me over someone who did masters or a higher degrees. The moment I asked this question to myself, I have to find a way. And I found a very important pattern in this company's recruitment system, which I call that as the pattern of Aussie, which is my defined rule. Before talking about it, it's better to take notes because I'm gonna tell what nobody tells. And after following this technique of mine, I'm pretty much sure that you will also start getting good retention rate from the companies. The first one is to apply for the roles which aligns with your skills. Let's say Spotify is hiring for a data scientist role. So you read and analyze the job description. So after reading and analyzing the job description, you found that they will make you work on domains like customer churn, the products like ads recommendation or songs recommendation. If you found that this job description aligns with your interests, then try to make an impactful and value adding project around the product they want candidate to be working. In this case, it can be recommendation system or maybe something customer churn and etc. Then tweak your resume by adding those projects which you have built in that. This will make your resume or application creamy, but make sure that the project is solving a problem and it fully showcases your skill potential. This will create a huge impact between you and the random guy who is holding a particular degree. Recruiter will see your project in real time and here you're showcasing what they need, not what you need. And this will increase your chance for getting shortlisted and getting placed in your company which you want to work on. If you want to know more about how to make good projects, feel free to comment box below and let me know if you want a video on this or not. Secondly, why do I even suggest you to apply for the companies where your interest lies? Say for example, you're interested in biotechnology. So search for companies which are related to biotech and then follow the same Aussie pattern to actually and then apply to that job. If you have any sort of experience in that field, or the, any kind of good projects which you have made, feel free to add them in your resume. So what will be the benefits of it? First, you will be having good projects. And secondly, you will learn more topics if needed. I also made into several good startups that paid me very well through this Aussie pattern. And there I got a chance to grow and learn a lot. I also got in a startup named Zenimil as an MLOps engineer. And you'll be surprised to know that I was not having any sort of experience in MLOps domain. So I searched for that company, researched a bit, and then I'm, I followed the Aussie pattern by which I made a, a project which aligned with the company's interest. And then I tweaked my resume and then I applied for that job. Guess what? I was shortlisted for an interview and then I was selected there as an MLOps engineer from the pools of application. And if you follow this path perfectly, I'm pretty much sure that you will be also landing your own dream jobs or the jobs which you're interested in. And as the code states in Three Idiots movie, 
pursue excellence success will follow hands down the only thing is that you just need to grow every day even if you grow 1% a day that is equals to 365% for a year so that's it for the video guys i hope that you learned a lot from this video and if you like this video feel free to click that like button and comment below if you have any kind of suggestions i'll be catching up your next video till then bye have a great day